I improve my developer workflow by connecting GitHub and Notion with a GitHub hack action called Notion Hook. Hello and welcome everyone. I am Alessandro Belli, a researcher and a software developer from the University of Bremen. Today I will show you how to connect GitHub and Notion with a GitHub action called Notion Hook that I developed. I did a previous video here with the unofficial API of Notion in Python, but this time I used the official API from Notion and JavaScript. As a developer, I love to see my commits synchronized with Notion because I want to connect them with tasks. And in this way, I can search for patterns of our mistakes and search again what I did in that day. And of course, as I love the concept of a single source of truth, so a sort of second brain, and this is Notion for me. I understand that someone might think that it's not that good and it's probably true, uh, but for now it always worked. I'm doing regularly backups and I think for now it's going all well. Here you can also see how I connect the commits with the database. I personally use many times for recurring problems. For example, about a folder permission issue that recurs every now and then on Ubuntu server. In this case, I search for the task solve permission issues. Then I see the task and copy and paste the commands to perform the solution. For the developers out there, uh, interesting enough, with the multi-select column, if your value is not there, it's curated automatically. This, this didn't occur with the unofficial API and I had to spend time to do it while screwing up my database. I actually contacted Notion because one database was not accessible anymore because I destroyed some properties internally. How do you use it? You just navigate to this URL that you find also in the description and you just use it. And now what does that mean? You need to create a dot epsilon ml file inside the dot github workflows folders. If you don't have those, you can create them. Then you need to go and create a private notion integration in this URL. So you can find all these steps in the description and also in the description in the readme file in the notion hook description on github. Copy your internal integration token on the private integration in Notion and set a secret in your repository called notion underscore secret all uppercase. Create a Notion database for your commits. In the description you can find a template that you can use and right away that works. Otherwise you can just personalize everything and that works anyway. Then go to a browser on that database and copy the Notion ID like this and set it as a secret in your repository as Notion underscore database, everything on uppercase. Then you can copy and paste the example I pasted in the GitHub marketplace and use it in your .yml file and you can use it right away. Commit the file and your action will work. I have just one little issue. Since I use uh, GitHub hooks in the unofficial API, so my last version of this tool, I could easily find the changed files, but this is not the case with the GitHub actions. If someone knows how to get the list of files, please let me know in the comments here or in the GitHub. You can create an issue or uh, anything there to help me. Thank you. And that's it. You can find the Redmi on the GitHub Marketplace that explains really well. I hope you found this video useful. You might be interested in this video about my Notion setup or this video about how I overcome difficult times with Notion. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time. Bye!